guys, welcome back to my channel again. Um, apologies first of all for the lighting, it's really grey and horrible outside. So it's not kind of, there's not much daylight coming in the room so. Apologies for that straight away but I am bringing you today my April favourites. Little tiny bit delayed, um, hopefully it's not too late to put one of these up, hopefully you'll still enjoy seeing what I've been loving. Um, but I am aware that it's now May, but we're going to work with it. So I've got a few beauty bits, um, a fashion piece and a couple of non-beauty items. So um, like TV programmes I've been enjoying and things like that. So I will start with the beauty section, I think. Yeah. So first of all, it's kind of two things, but they are from the same brand and they kind of do the same thing. So I'm going to show you both of them. So I've got the Tresemme Perfectly Undone, basically, they're from that range. And I have the Wave Creating Sea Foam, and I have the Sea Salt Spray. And they are both designed to give you beachy, um, textured, wavy hair, basically. So, these are amazing. They smell kind of like the sea, which is cool, because then you will have an authentic beachy wave. Um, and yeah, they just leave really nice kind of textured, wavy kind of curls. I've got a video up already of me using this one. So you can head over to that video and have a look. I'll pop the link in the description box. So yeah, loving them. The next beauty product, kind of, that I'm loving is a really old product. Like it's not a new innovation or anything. It's been around for ages, but just recently in the last month or so, I've really been loving using it. And it is the Soap and Glory Hand Food. It's amazing because it's just so hydrating and I find this time of year my skin can get really um, dry and cracked and horrible and you can just pop this on, um, rub it in your hands and your hands will stay hydrated for literally hours, like four or five hours. Um, and it smells amazing. It's got shea butter, macadamia oil and marshmallow in it. So lots of lovely nice smelling hydrating things and it's awesome so loving that the next item is a makeup item and it is the l'oreal true match foundation so i've got this in the shade ivory and it's amazing it's literally amazing um you need the smallest amount and it covers everything you need it to it's really, really pigmented, but it's not heavy, it's light, and it gives a really soft kind of velvety effect to the skin, which I love. Um, awesome. Oh, and it's about £9. The next product is a lipstick, and I'm wearing it right now. Um, it is number three by Kate Moss. It's such an amazing lipstick, I love it. Um, it's kind of, it's definitely a nude, but it's kind of a pinky brown nude. It's not too pale. Um, and it's also not too brown, so it's kind of like quite a natural colour. Um, but I love the formulation of the Kate Moss lipsticks, and obviously the price is amazing. Um, they're like four, no, five, maybe five pounds or six pounds. But the quality is absolutely amazing, and I love this colour. So another favourite of mine is another lipstick, and it's from Mac. It's actually not mine. It's my housemate's. She's sitting by me. But it is Honey Love from Mac. And it's really similar to the one I just showed a minute ago. It's another nude one, but it's slightly paler. And it's on my lips. I just put it on over the other one. That's just another one. I think that one is... It's a matte. So. The final kind of makeup beauty item is an eyebrow pencil. And it is the Rimmel Professional Eyebrow Pencil. I've had this one before. This is in the shade Hazel. And it's got a little brush at the top and then obviously the product in there um, and I don't know I just really love it like the colour matching my eyebrows is really 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 good um, I thought it might be a little bit gingery kind of coming out of my skin it's not at all it's literally the exact colour of my eyebrows which is awesome and I think it was either 2 99 or 3 99 so you really can't go wrong and it stays on all day and I love it awesome the last kind of I would say this is the last beauty product it is these wipes from Simple. They are awesome, awesome, awesome. 
obviously they're kind to your skin, they're gentle because they're from Simple, which we all know is um, a sort of really natural skincare brand. There's none of that horrible, those horrible parabens and perfumes and things in them. But these ones are particularly cool to me because they are exfoliating wipes. So one side of the wipe is a soft, um, just like soft normal face wipe and that will remove any makeup or surface dirt from the skin and then you turn it over and the other side's like exfoliating wipe so it's got the sort of rough texture on the other side so you can really get into all the pores and really lift all of the kind of dirt and grease from the day out of your skin and they're really affordable and they come in a wipe form so they make me feel slightly less guilty about using wipes before I go to bed instead of washing my face so love them the next product is not an, a beauty item, it is a relaxation item <laughs> and a very nice smelling one. Um, okay, it's kind of in two parts. So the other day I bought an oil burner, which is one of these, oh, I've got the little candle in there. Um, and it's literally a little, I guess, ceramic pot and you pop a little candle inside, which obviously makes these little holes glow like the candlelight but you pop a wax tart in the top so this one in here at the moment is one from Yankee and I think it's called something bluebells I think it's something something to do with bluebells anyway um, and you just literally melt it in the top and as it melts it releases all the scents into your room and this was a pound from Poundland <laughs> just want to point that out um, does the job um, and then my kind of like favourite smelling tart at the moment is called Lake Sunset by Yankee Candle. It smells really good. Yesterday me and my housemates were smelling it and we were <laughs> we were um <laughs> we were going, oh my god, you can just smell the sunset, you can smell the lake. <laughs> like because they call me these like weird names, like why is this smell Lake Sunset? You obviously you can't smell the lake and the sunset. But it's, see I can't even describe what it smells like but it's really 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 nice it's kind of like a soft sugary floral kind of scent but not over not overwhelmingly floral it just made me giggle that they call it <laughs> lake lake sunset mm. delicious but I do love I do love everything Yankee Candle and anything that smells good and looks pretty I love I'm all about that the next item is a fashion item and they are my rather looking, a little bit beaten up now but I love them and they are my Chelsea boots from asof.com and they are just normal leather Chelsea boots um, and I love them, I've worn them so much, I don't know if you can tell but they're quite scuffed but a scuffed shoe is a happy loved shoe so yes yeah, so they're a little bit worn on the bottom but they're kind of made of sort of kind of hard sort of sole um, and then a leather upper and then obviously it's got the normal elasticated bit and the little leather tag at the back but they're so comfy and they come in half sizes which is awesome um, these are just a size 5 but they come in half sizes up to I think oh excuse me up to a size 8 I think maybe. But yeah, just normal Chelsea boots but I love them because you can wear them with leggings, jeans, uh, little skirt and tights and I think they're just really cute pair of boots to have in the springtime because they're just so easy to chuck on. So I might get myself a pair in like a, I don't know, like a nude or beige colour for the spring, like when it gets warmer. But yeah, I love them. I've completely forgotten. I've got one more item which kind of comes under the beauty bracket and that is my Sesh Feet top coat. Um, I think everyone's probably heard of Sesh Feet top coat, but it's just a really fast drying top coat and it makes your nails look like you've got gel polish on them, which is amazing. And they make your nail varnish like it makes your nail varnish last at least like two or three days longer than it normally would without, which is always good. Um, I get mine from Amazon, but you can I think you can get it from Boots, Superdrug, any of those kinds of shops, but it's cheaper for me to get it on Amazon. Can't really say much about this other than Make sure you do it in a room with the window open or even outside if you can because it's so strong smelling. It literally makes me feel lightheaded after a while. So if you're going to use it, make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Last two items of my favourites this month. Um, kind of random. 
The first one, I can't really show you it um, for copyright, but it is a programme which is on Netflix, so I'll maybe pop the link to it below if I can. But I've been absolutely obsessed with RuPaul's Drag Race, and it's so funny. If you've watched American America's Next Top Model, um, or maybe even The Face on Sky, you'll kind of get the gist. It's basically America's Next Top Model, but for drag queens, and it's the whole premise of the program is to find America's next drag superstar. So drag queens from all over America will audition and they'll get picked by RuPaul who is, um, he's kind of like a kind of iconic drag queen um, and he, he's kind of got, he's got albums out, he's got a book out, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, and it's just such a funny show. So the, it's kind of, yeah, it's like a talent slash model slash kind of design program and they compete and basically it's just to find the next drug superstar but it's so funny and you got you get really like invested in all the characters and each drag queen has their own like personality and they have drag names it's just amazing i think my favorite bit is at the end of each program the two bottom like the bottom two of the week have to lip sync for their lives so they'll lip sync to like a pre-recorded track but it's so brilliant like they're amazing they can do like the splits they're crazy but anyway you should definitely watch that it's just one of those like feel good programs you can just stick it on if you're feeling a bit crap and it totally cheers you up they're so funny to watch so definitely watch that it's probably not suitable for anyone under the age of 18 just because they swear and obviously it's kind of quite a sensitive topic but parental supervision anyway if younger people want to watch it but it's amazing and my last favourite is such a random one I'm just going to grab it because it's really heavy but I absolutely love it and it is my MacBook Pro oh god that was reflective um, I absolutely love my MacBook um, I saved for about five months or something to get my MacBook but I've actually wanted one for about five years <laughs> but it just makes everything so much easier and I really love doing YouTube but obviously I'm a university student and I do have to design things and um, edit pictures and stuff like that because I'm doing journalism so it obviously makes that a lot easier but I just I love it because I can just film my videos and then up edit them upload them and it takes no time at all and I just I've, I've wanted one for so long and yeah there's no better feeling than saving up and working your bum off to get something and this is def was definitely worth saving for and I love it it's just the I think it's like the entry level MacBook Pro so it's not retina display or anything fancy like that I think it's been out for a while but yes so that's my final favourite my MacBook I've got my Adventure Time stickers on it as well the Lady Rainicorn because I love Adventure Time that should probably go my favourites too but I've always loved Adventure Time so I'm not going to put it in this one but yeah well that went quick, so that was all of my favourites for April, um, I really hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, I don't know what else to say, if you try any of these or you have done, let me know in the, in the box down below, and I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week, and I love you all, and I'll see you soon.